That's fine. Well, just repeat the number for me, will you? Right. Now, look, I want to refer all calls to this number this morning. You've got it? Fine, love. Thanks very much. It's amazing. What's that? Well, it's a beautiful sunny day outside, and I could swear there's this big dark cloud right over your head. It shows, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe that tea will perk you up. Second cup's on the house. Oh, Rose, I just can't seem to get with it. Today. Just... Well, nothing like a cup, as Patty used to say, to get you started. Thank you. Look, I'm really sorry to interrupt you. Ah, uh, yeah, more coffee? Sure. Uh, not just at the moment, thanks. Morning. Morning. Well, then, can I get something for you? Slick Jones. Beg your pardon? Oh, look, I'm sorry. What I meant to say was, have you run into Slick Jones here this morning? Nope. I haven't seen him, and I've been here all morning. Oh, I see. Anything I can do for you? Ah, thanks anyway. Look, I'll have another cup of coffee after all. And would you mind if I, uh, hang around here? No, not at all. Thank you. There you go. I wonder what's gotten into him this morning. He is awful jumpy, and he's had about ten cups of coffee, at least. Maybe it's something in the air. Maybe. Something's bothering me. Rick, I hate to pry, but could the way you're feeling this morning have anything to do with the date you had with Leslie the other night? You're very perceptive. But, Rick, you said you had a wonderful time. I did. I had a great time. I think Leslie had a great time, but that was two days ago. Two days ago. So? So? I'm, well, why haven't I heard from her? Well, did you call her? No, it's her turn. What do you mean, it's her turn? Rose, um, you heard the old saying, you, know, you don't kiss somebody on the first date, right? Are you kidding? I'm, I'm sorry, kidding. I'm not laughing at you, but it's been years since I've heard that expression, let alone met anybody who practiced it. Well, there are those people who believe in it, and I think Leslie believes in it, I know why I believe in it. But I was married to her. I didn't kiss her goodnight. Oh, for Nothing. heaven's sake. Rick, is that what's bothering you? Well, I guess that's part of what's bothering me, but I guess what really bugs me is I thought I would have at least heard from her by now. It's well, if days. that's all it is, call her. There's the phone. Here, I got a dime. You can borrow a dime. Just call her. No, I don't want the dime. She is an independent, liberated woman. Call me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. So right. that's what this is all really about, isn't it? Excuse me, look, I think I might go another cup of that. You didn't have to come all the way over here. I would have brought it to you. That's quite all right. Uh, look, maybe just a spot of milk in there as well. Sure. I know this question reaches the heights of absurdity, but has anybody seen Luke Spencer around? Looks like it went, all right? See you in about two days. What a lovely choice. I'm glad you like it. It comes very highly recommended. You haven't eaten here before? Oh, no, this is the first time. Oh, that's kind of nice. But it's the first time for both of us. Well, that makes it extra special. Well, I think it's lovely. Not as lovely as you are. Thank you. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Thank you for extending it. Oh, hi. I, uh, how are you doing? I'm oh, fine. How are you? Just fine, thank you. How's business this morning? Oh, well, that was it. It just went out the door. Oh, really? That's yeah. good. I was afraid I would be late for Mrs. Kaufman. No, no, she hasn't come in yet. Oh. <sighs> Look nice. Yeah. Thanks. I sure enjoyed lunch yesterday. I enjoyed it myself. It was very nice. In fact, I was going to call you last night and tell you so. I was thinking about calling you. So how Why did you... <laughs> mm. you go first. 
Well, I was afraid of a subject of Laura, and I didn't know how that would go, and I, uh... I know exactly what you mean. I didn't call because I'd been so worried about Laura, I was afraid it would turn into an unhappy conversation. Yeah, well, if it has to do with Luke and Laura, I don't think the answers are going to be very easy coming, you? No. No, I keep talking to myself about it over and over and over, and I don't, I don't know what to think. It won't be easy. You are worried about her, aren't you? Of course I'm worried about her. I... <laughs> of you know, she could get herself into terrible trouble rushing off into the unknown like this. Leslie, I don't like it any better than you do. Probably less. And there's nothing we can do about it, right? I don't think so. She's made up her mind. How are we going to change that? What happens if she doesn't find him? Maybe Luke has that statue, and he's about a million miles away from here. You know what that means, don't you? She's just going to travel a million miles further looking for him.